here's something I hear very often. How exactly am I supposed to know which building has human remains? How do you know where you can find stalker mission NPCs? So the answer to all of those questions is that I can easily find them from TF2 Profiler. Now, those of you who don't know about it, uh, this is going to be helpful for you guys. So if you use that site, you will be able to find all the locations of the buildings by yourself. Now, let me show you super quick how to do that. So you go to your browser and you have to search for DF2 Profiler or just go to df2profiler.com and then you click on mission map. Once you click that, you'll see this page. There's a bunch of filters. There's the map of the game. If you scroll further down, you'll see a search bar and a list of all the missions that are currently in the game. Now remember, this website refreshes 10 minutes after daily reset, which is at 9 a.m. UTC 0 or GMT 0, whichever you follow. So back to the questions, how do I know where the stalker missions are or where the human remains missions are? Let me start with the stalker missions. You see this box right here that says mission type. You click here and then you click on escape stalker. So that is going to filter all of the missions to only the ones where you will escape stalkers. What you have to do is you have to click on one of these boxes to highlight the location of that mission. So let's say this one. It says Haley Duran in Mountain Dale Apartments in Ravenwall Heights wants you to escape one stalker. So what you do is as soon as you see that small question mark near your mouse pointer, you click it and then it will highlight the square on the map. You do the same for all the other missions and now you can see all of the highlighted missions are on your map. So what you have to do is you can start from any of the outposts, let's say you're starting from Greywood, and then you can go to this location here. Let me try to do one of the stalker missions as an example. So let's go to this one near Haverbrook, Atlas Stone Missions LLC. So I'll open up my game. I already have my character geared to have 300% EXP because escaping the stalker gives you a really good amount of experience. So this is where Atlas Stone Machines is. So I'll just head out. You have to remember that DF2 Profiler doesn't exactly give you the room location of the NPC. It only tells you where the building is. So it's your job to find out where the NPC is located within that building. So that's something our mappers do. All the wonderful people who map out all of the exact locations. You might come across bosses like this, you might be going from door to door trying to find out where the NPC is hidden. So it actually takes a long time for them to search and find where exactly the NPC is hiding. It could be in the bottom floor, it could be in the second floor, it could be anywhere. The NPC for this building is right here, Juliana O'Neill. You can also check that back in the DF2 profiler for the NPC name. When I come back here, you can see for Atlas Stone, um, it says Juliana O'Neill. So this is the NPC that we should be talking to. Alright, so I'm going to talk to her and there is the stalker. I have my music turned off so you are not going to hear the iconic music of the stalker. I'll just be running back to the outpost. back in. There's the familiar ding and 
the reward of 64k XP and I've actually leveled up so you didn't see it. 6 get back to the default view, just click on clear filters here and you can also click the clear highlighted missions and that's going to give you the fresh map again. Now how do we find the human remains? You should notice that there is no separate category for the human remains. However, you can use the mission text search box here to find the human remains missions. All you have to do is click here and type human remains and that is going to show you all the locations for the human remains missions. Now remember, you don't have to talk to the mission giver NPC to start the missions. All you have to do is go to the house, kill the boss and loot the remains. In order to do that, you have to click near the bottom side of each box. Now if, remember, if you click on the top side, it's going to highlight where the NPC is. You don't need to talk to the NPC. You only have to find the human remains and you can just turn it in at the outpost. So make sure you click near the bottom. Okay? So this is the location of the human remains. Now do the same for all of the other missions and there is your map for human remains if you want to make a path you can do it manually or you can just click here and click on automatic so that the site suggests you how to go through each of the locations now close to Dalbo you can see Vaughn Lodge where you will be able to find a boss and after defeating it you will be able to loot it for human remains you can do the same for all the missions that are highlighted here. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm at Dolpa Outpost right now. This is where Vaughn Lodge is. Time for me to head out. Now remember, the location that you get from DF2 Profiler, that's only for the building. It doesn't tell you which room you can find the boss in which means you have to go to the building and search by yourself for the boss now there are ways to look for the boss very quickly um, those tricks or tips will be shared at some other time for now let's just go to the house and look for the boss and once we find it we can loot the human remains from its body Now one more thing that you should notice is that the building isn't highlighted in green because we did not talk to the NPC. However, we have the location from DF2 Profiler and that should be enough. Now that we're in the lobby, um, this should be the boss already. So we're just lucky and we can see that the boss is just waiting for us in the lobby. <laughs> see, these are the human remains. So you take it, and then you go back to the outpost and you can turn it in. If I go back to the DF2 profiler, there are other locations as well. So I'll have to repeat this for all the other locations. I'll have to go to each building and search for the human remains. Now for those of you who are connected to the Dead Frontier Discord, there's a channel called DF2 Mission Info, you can come here and usually find a map that has been posted every day, usually within two hours of reset. These maps, they are all made voluntarily by our wonderful mappers in the community. What they do is they take the locations from the DF2 profiler and then they explore each single building for the human remains or the stalker NPC. For those of you who followed this video so far you guys can try to do the same you can explore and uh, try to make maps for the community that's going to help a lot of people i hope we'll be seeing a lot of people collaborating in the future to make maps for the community i suppose that's it um hopefully i didn't miss anything important but this is i think as simple as it can get Maybe I'll try to make even more detailed guides in the future and I'll try to cover other mission types as well. Or maybe how you can do the fine items mission maps. But 
for now, I guess this will have to do. So thank you very much for watching. Maybe I'll see you guys next time.